All right, this is part two of my inventory system. I have some server side stuff set up. When I click on things, I'm storing this into a table and we're keeping track of what we picked up and who has it and how many of each we have. But we're not updating our bag yet. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Let's go ahead and stop the video. And I will go to my starter GUI, screen GUI, bag. Right? And on the, on the screen GUI itself, on the same level as the bag, I'm going to add a local script. So I'll say local script. And this is going to be pick up local. Pick up loc. And pick up loc. We're going to catch this pick up manager event. So when we pick something up, we fired off this pick up buyer client. Let's catch that and do stuff with it. I need a player, so I'm going to say local player. So I'm in pick up local, the local, the local script. I need a player. I'm going to do games, game players, local player, um, local bag frame equals script dot parent dot bag, and then I'll do a bag itself. So we'll say bag frame get children. So that's all the contents of the bag. Basically, I want all the slots, right? All these numbers. But look at that UI grid layout. We have to parse that out. So everything in the bag is not going to be uh, of interest to us. We only want what looks like the slots of the bag. So I'm going to make a new table for that. That is curly brackets. We would make this an S because there's going to be more than one, more than one slot. Slots. All right, we have to catch our remote event, so we need replicated storage, RS, game, get service, uh, replicated storage, and we have a pickup RE, pickup remote event, from replicated storage, wait for child, pickup RE, that needs to be spelled the same as what is in replicated storage. All right, otherwise, you get an infinite yield, so you drop RE, RS, wait for child, drop RE. So we got one for the pickup, we got one for the drop. We're gonna send the message back to the server for the drop, but we're gonna catch the message coming over for the pickup. And then we're gonna update our bag with that. So let's do a for loop to initialize our bag. And we're gonna go for I equals one to the contents of the bag in steps of one, do. Now remember, we have to do an if statement right here. So if bag is a text button, then that way we won't get this item right here. So we're gonna update our slots. Let's do this local num. Notice these, these numbers here. The button numbers are, is gonna be our number for our table. We'll do two number bag i name all right let's say slots num equals bag i so i is going to be one higher than num than num because right? we have that ui grid layout and it's here let's just do a text clear the text clear the text for the slots and for the label That looks good. All right, so when we play it, our bag should be empty and we should have no errors in the output. There it is. Now we have an empty bag. If you remember, there's text in there before. Let's go to our pickup again. And now let's catch the event coming from the pickup manager when our character actually hits something and we pick it up. We're gonna update the bag in this function. Let's say local function add pickup to bag item and count let's say four i equals four i comma v in i pairs slots do all right so if there's already an object in the bag that like say metal we clicked metal but we already have a spot for metal let's check that first because then we only have to update the count so I'm going to say if v text equals equals item name, then we'll update our 
v label text to equal the count and then we can return we're done we just had to update a number but if we get here we know that there is nothing in there with that name so we need to add it to the bag all right so we'll say slots do if slots i text equals equals the empty text we can use that slot because there's nothing in it say text equals item name slots i label text count which will probably be one all right there we go and let's do a return sweet all right now let's catch the event from the server so uh what is that pick up re pick up re so when pickup manager sends our pickup re on client event then we're going to connect that to add pickup to bag cool let's check it out let's go over to the world i noticed here this shouldn't say folder this should say something more like materials there we go that'll be easier to understand let's make some more of these so that we'll, we can check to see if more than one of them gets loaded if our numbers are if our numbers are working out All right there we go make it a better test go in here we got some cloth awesome we got another piece of cloth wood metal another piece of metal ah wood good looking good there's twos and all there and all those all right now let's open and close the bag with our tab key all right so we'll come here local user input service game uh get service user input service that's going to detect whether we get a key press or something and then we'll do a open close key variable enum key code and then you could make this any key you want i'm just going to type in tab awesome let's get the input began for this user input service let's go down way down to the bottom user input service uh what is it dot input began connect function you're going to get this input which is going to be the key code that we're interested in. it's going to be a tab we're hoping it's going to be a tab then we're going to have this thing called game process and that is for other events that might come in through that key what you want to do with them and we are not going to do anything with them so say if input key code equals equals what do we have open close key then uh we'll fire our server we'll say no we won't do that we're gonna open close our bag <laughs> we'll do bag frame visible equals whatever it was not before bag frame visible that should open close our bag let's try that out we'll go in here And hit my tab there we go went away yeah that's working so i'm gonna turn that off when i start the game let me go to my bag go to my visible did i pass it i did right here and that way when we start it won't be open which is which is the way it should be all right all you have to do now drop events and then we're good to go go to pick up look again and since these are buttons i'm going to just add activated events to each button let me get rid of that make this a little bigger there so i'll do another for loop for i equals one to the number of elements in the bag and i'm sorry not the bag the slots do so it's gonna be slightly different we're not gonna do all the bags so we already parsed out our ui grid layout these are all buttons we'll do slots i 
activated connect to this anonymous function. We'll say if slots i text does not equal blank, then we'll do something. Otherwise, we're just going to ignore it. Do drop re. So then we're going to send this to the to the server. So we're going to say fire server, and we're going to send our item slots i the name of the item slots i text. All right, and then we have our number here. We're going to pass. We're going to find out how many we have. This is going to update our label to number slots i dot label text if num equals equals one whoops where's my one one then all right so there's only one we're just going to clear the we're going to clear the bag uh slots i text equals blank and then slots i label label text equals blank else if we have more than one num is greater than one then slots i dot label text equals num minus one so we had we didn't have to clear out the text because we had more than one item and we'll just take it down if we only have one item, we want to clear out everything. There's nothing in the bag. That looks good. So this is on client side. Now we have to catch it on server side so we can update our, our inventory on the server. Let's go to our server script service. Pickup manager. Under pickup, we're going to add that. We'll do a local. Not a local. Yeah, local. Function. Drop item player and then item name. Remember, we just did a, a drop re with the item name. The player comes over if it's coming from a client, so you know who it came from. Right? I didn't have to put it in the parameter list. So we'll say update data player item name will equal whatever this value is minus one minus one make that a little smaller cool now we have to um, put the item out in front of us right we decremented but we want it to appear in the world so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna say mats I need something in replicated storage right here so that I can reproduce things in, on server side in the world. Let's add a folder to replicated storage. Let's call this materials. Let's take one of each material, a cloth, a metal, a wood, drag it into materials. And this is where we're going to replicate our materials so they can appear in the world when we go to drop them. All right, so we'll say local materials equals replicated storage, wait for child materials. And that's that folder replicated storage I just created. All right, so then we're gonna get our mat, the material, from mats folder, wait for child, and this will be the item name. We'll just clone it. Nice, now let's place it out in front of us. So we'll say the mat C frame equals player character humanoid root part c frame plus all that again i'm not going to type it again look vector right direction we're looking times i'll say 10 studs i'm gonna throw it kind of far out so if it's like wood it doesn't roll back and then i pick it back up so mat material uh, parent will equal workspace materials. All right, there we go. We just need to catch this from the client side. We can do that down here. We'll say 
drop re on server event connect drop item Whoop, get rid of those two extra parentheses hopefully we're done hopefully it works let's try it out and we'll hit our tab there is our bag we got a piece of cloth let's throw it bam yeah looking good piece of wood piece of metal and let's do a cloth sweet looks good looks like it's working i'm going to add some more items hold on yeah, go here let's duplicate them again Control d and then we'll go and move let me look at my view just to make sure there's no outputs so we have our print statement here let's delete our print statement uh go to pickup manager and what's that pickup manager here there's the print statement i don't need that anymore because my bag is showing it i'll make that a little smaller and let's see clean this code up there we go and play should be able to pick things up and throw them we got it there it is there's a cloth another piece of cloth piece of wood piece of metal another piece of metal yeah throw this i uh, don't don't pick it up again and let's pick it up boom looking good looking good no errors seems to be working all right uh, i hope uh, i hope it worked out and let me know if you have any questions i think i'll do another one for storing that data off or between games